Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 15 of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord Episode 1 Tides of Fate. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, right now we are still on the third floor of Cenefaria Tower, and believe it or not, I didn't even try to level grind while I was here. But in any case, I don't think it'll be necessary. So let's try to climb to the top of the tower. Been a long time, my son. A very long time. Whoa, you're still alive and clearly you didn't get enough sleep. Father. Man, it's been a long time since I sent you into exile. And yet here you are. You have grown. And I see you are not alone. I am Mage's wife, Syria. See your exodus. I am Isis, daughter-in-law of Mages in Syria. So, you are my wife's grandfather. So, you're the one who's been holed up in here for all these years. I have heard about you. Cannot say I am impressed either. What an interesting following you have there, my son. Stop calling me that. I am not your son. You are a pathetic and pitiful excuse for a man who calls himself my father. Now move aside, Exodus. We have more important business to take care of at the moment. Well now... I'm afraid, dear boy, that is where you are a bit wrong. You see, while in exile, I have kept up to date on the matters of the world. I know what is going on, and I have a good idea why you are here. The diadem is up ahead, guarded by a fiend that you have no hope against. Of course, I cannot let you go any further either. You really are just another ass! Ha! Saying what I am thinking again, Zyria. Exodus? Why hinder us? Why, my dear, it is easy enough to understand. I destroy you, and then I contact Lord Zexor, informing him of the gunner's- Whoa, whoa, whoa! He's working for Zexor now? Oh, this is not good at all. In no time at all, I will be free of this exile. And once more, I will be able to strike fear into the hearts of those that would dare oppose me. Enough of this! I did not kill you before because I thought it was too good for you. Now, though, I think it is a befitting fate. Goodbye, dear... father. This is all we have left, then. Your time on this mortar coil is through, my son! And now it's time for us to battle. This time it's gonna be a little bit different because it's a full-on party and we're not completely overpowered. Exodus does have one, gla have one glaring weakness, and that's poison. Unfortunately, that did not connect yet, so I'll have to keep trying with mages. In the meantime, I'm going to use Magi Bless on Sapphire, just to give her a little bit more oomph. The gate! Okay, good, it didn't work. Alright, let's go for Fury. I believe he's also weak against Thunder, but Thunder attacks don't really do that much damage. Just a little bit better than other elements you have. Poison. There we go! Now we got an easy win here. Why? Because remember, Exodus has a nice chunk of HP, and he will lose a nice percentage of that every turn he attacks. Oh, Thunary, that's obviously gonna hurt. Okay, Sapphire, you're gonna take this turn off, just so that you can give Isis a... I think a mid-potion would be just fine. We don't want to go too nuts. Alright, now mages can use Arcane Thunder. Do a nice bit of damage. Eventually, it's just going to be Exodus doing himself in when it comes to the poison coursing through his veins. But at least his music is pretty amazing, too. This game doesn't have any shortage of good battle music. This one really gets you intense. Okay, he's down to less than half. I say if I play my cards right, he'll actually kill himself before he tries to attack. Okay, good, that didn't work. So let's go with the Kirina this time. Even though only one person's been injured. Might be able to finish him off. No! Uh, Zyria has had a pretty bad reputation for missing. Okay, 
If Magus' sperm had that much marksmanship, there would be no kids. Oh, just a tiny bit left. Come on, Isis, you got this. No? Huh. I guess Sapphire's magic attack just went back to normal. But it doesn't matter. Exodus is defeated. Usually when I have practice runs of this battle, I get a poison on the first try. It's a Let's Player curse! Believe it or not. Even though technically I still won, I get Bane's promise. And an elixir. Yeah! D Damn you, Magus! You were once a great man. That is the only pleasant memory of you I shall keep. You cannot go to the hells just yet, Exodus! Who is that? You will come to know me well, if you survive long enough. <laughs> Magus, who or what was that? Is Exodus still alive? I do not know, Sapphire. If he is still alive, it will be because of that presence. Magus, we should go back downstairs to rest before proceeding onward. Exodus speak of a fiend spoke of a fiend guarding the diadem. We had best be careful. Agreed. Let us go rest on the floor below. And my phone just rang, I gotta take care of this. Time out. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that interruption. I was spending some time with Cole at NL180. Well, she was just getting back from work, and well, she was hanging out with me for a couple hours. I kicked her ass in Mario Party 2. Okay, okay, I beat her by one star. Get over it. But in any case, we had to like go back and save to uh, use the crystal again because we got another fiend to deal with. The one that's in charge of guarding the diadem. And it's all the way over here. Stand aside, or you shall suffer the consequences. You want me to stand aside while you take my diadem? How about... no? <coughs> I am Tempest, dark sister of the air. How dare you think you could just barge in here, defeat my handsome Exodus, and take what is mine. Well, see, I do dare. Hell, I would dare you to try not to be a royal bitch in need of having her head cut off, though. Wait, did you call Exodus handsome? She did. That just gave me a very, very bad image just now. Thank you, Tempest. Now I want to vomit. You, you, no one has ever spoken to me like that. You will die, here and now. The Void is calling your name, Tempest. Much like it did your sister, Morina. Oh, those are fighting words, and now it's another boss battle we gotta deal with. This time with Tempest, the second Dark Sister of the Elements. This one is not too tough, but try to stay on top of things just in case. She is weak against Thunder, which is good. No stat weaknesses, though. From what I can tell, oh god. Okay, Sapphire, guess we're not going to be using you for a little bit. Though it may not be such a bad idea all the same. A bit expensive, but I am going to use Rejuvenate. Ow, 700! That's a heavy-duty Aeroblade she got compared to Isis. Hers is very piss-poor and weak. But I really like the artwork here. I mean, seeing all these tornadoes and gales cutting right through ya, they really did a good job designing this boss. Okay, she's still above half. We gotta keep doing the same thing we're doing now. Oh, Sapphire, remember, she's still got a low amount of HP compared to everyone else. Therefore, she gets targeted by anything she practically needs healing right away. Hopefully that changes after this video when I put some time towards training her. Which would be nice if she could catch up to the rest of us. She's feeling a bit left out, I mean, she's the only one with blue hair. Everyone else has black hair, and Zira is asleep. 
She's been getting very lucky with the uh, sleep status. Two for two on that so far. But I say we got her on the ropes. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, one person asleep I can take. But two of my best damage dealers, no. There's only so much a man can take. Before he decides, you know what, let's just cast a spell that costs 22 MP. And get that all fixed. Oh god, Twister. Good thing she doesn't spam it, otherwise we'd be in trouble. Okay, she's almost dead. But I definitely need to use a Curvera. So who's gonna get the finishing blow here? Is it gonna be Sapphire or is it gonna be Zeria? Let's see. Place your bets. No, seriously, uh, don't place your bets, because I'd hate for people to lose money over this. He's like, my family had to foreclose because I bet on the wrong person, Bunga. Thanks a lot. I didn't really think Vegas was interested in my LPs. But we got two level ups, which is nice. Ice is at level 18. And Sapphire's at level 16 and learned Thuneri. Could have used that in the previous battle, but oh well. That's what I get for her going in there while she was still at 15. Now that we have the diadem, we must leave here immediately. Damn it! The place is coming apart! The floor is caving in! We had to find another way out of here! I can get us out of here! Do it now! Taranji Sakaran Maladutsi Egress! Egress, isn't that the same as the teleport spell in Shining Force? Not that I've played that game much, I've just seen other people do it. What? My home! Look at it! Wait! What about Lena? There's a parchment on the ground here. We should read it. Okay. The parchment reads as follows. I have Galena. If you want her back, then you'll have to come to Valdres to get her. Signed, Damon Val. He betrayed me! That foul ass! That's it! I'm coming with you all to Valdres! He is going to die! Horribly! I promise you that, Magus. We will get back Arlena. We cannot just rush into Valdres. We still do not know how to use the Diadem yet. Going there now would only play into their hands. Isis, where do you suggest we go to learn how to use the Diadem? Zenith Kess! The island far southeast of here, and the closest land to Valdres. The Diadem has an inscription upon it that is of the Zenithian language. I suggest we go there. What is Zenith Kess like? A formidable terrain surrounded by lava and hellish volcanoes. Not the best place to go for a visit, though it seems we have little choice. Very well. Then we must... You know, it would be really great if you did not make a pronouncement every moment. I mean, really, mages. Who died and made you a deity? I did not say that. And I do not utter pronouncements. Oh, but you do. Just like you did with our children. Especially Kadar. Poor child makes pronouncements every damn day because of his father. Now listen here, woman. I do not... Woman! Oh, you so did not just say that to me of all people. I will tell you right now, Lee, you... Oh, this is going to be a pleasant trip. Indeed. It looks that way, Zerio. I was not the one who decided that. Oh, really? So I must have been the one to decide on how best to split apart from me. You... No, that is illogical. You are not being reasonable. Let's head back to the ship. They can resume their argument there. With haste, please. Well, that's very awkward. But, we get a crystal shard that we stole from that guy's corpse. I kind of feel sad that I pilfered a dead body, but... Hey, it had to get some use sometime. Anyways, there's nothing else to do here. Stupid dead body. Let's see what's in the wood. Oh, a spark scroll. Alright, we're out of here. 
can't really do anything else. The place is a mess now. So, why don't we head for Zenith Cast right now? Remember the protocol, we'll still have some battles to deal with- Oh my god, I forgot to use the crystal while we was in the estate. And now I'm gonna have this low amount of MP. This is gonna be fun. But at least these battles are easy. Did I forget to equip Magus' new weapon as well? Oh my god, I did that too! I'm really unprepared now, but... You know, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Even though a lot of people died in that previous place, it was the end of their world. Oh, Mag Magus at level 18! Sweet! But I didn't learn a new technique. Yeah, I was wondering where we were gonna go south. Oh yeah, it looks a bit hellish. I saw a bit of fire there. Yeah, Zero needed some more MP. Alright, now let's go for the kill. We must have a very sturdy boat to handle all these lightning bolts. It is very special. Wow. <laughs> We're just laying waste to these water enemies. Syria's closest among the four of us to gain a level. It's getting pretty dark here, too. Alright, we finally made it to Zenith Kess. Probably have to do some training later, but first, let's get ourselves situated. We do not take kindly to outsiders here. This is Zenith Kess Castle, home of the demons known as the Tieflings. Watch yourself here. Okay. Ooh, Teddy! Don't mind if I do! Boom! Now let us go shopping. Our weapons are far beyond what measly humans can forge. Take a look. Oh, look at you bragging about yourself. Uh, first, why don't I just equip that weapon already? It was a Bane's promise. Uh, wait, his middle name is Heron? <laughs> Heron? That's the name of a bird! Or at least a swan-like bird. Oh my god. He's really fallen from grace. Yeah, I'm getting the flare of bow over the uh, flame staff. Uh, armor. Okay, Inferno Helm, I'll buy two. Inferno Shield, I'll buy two. Buy two. Resisting his fire attack, sign me up. Tiefling Ring, resistant to poison and darkness. Ooh, I like that. A blaze robe and two kiss circlets. Protects against the gate. Awesome. Goes great for Isis and Sapphire. Seeing as how they are mages. I mean sorcerers, you know. Not like mages as in this guy right here. But in any case. Yeah, I think we're good with the paralysis gauntlet. Get all this equipped. I'll probably do some training in the meantime. Because, you know, it wouldn't hurt. I say we'll run to some tough enemies later on. Alright. Wait, do I have the tiefling ring on Isis? Yes, I do. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, let's see. I could use some more crystal shards. Mid ethers. Uh, I sell Velen root, smelling salt. Okay, I say we're good on the item front for now. But is there anything else I can pick up before I leave? Well, not leave the castle, but rather the shops? No. We may be far from other lands, though we are well aware of what is going on. Veldrace has left us alone. Though for how long may depend on how annoyed the Zarina gets. 
Tsarina? That's like a Russian princess, is it? Huh. I didn't think they had those in this game. Well, those titles, I mean. But that's pretty cool. It's always the little things that really pique your interest. Ooh, an ether. I was hoping for a mid-ether or something better, but... Can't always get what you want, am I right? But at least I got what I wanted recently in Nintendo Wii U. Valdrace is a laugh. They think it could take over the world. Yet have they done it yet? No. I would love to see them try that here. I managed to find the Wii U when I was going out to a breakfast with my mom and my sister. Oh, I got an ambrosia. And we came across this place called Entertainment Center in St. John's, and they said they had Wii U's in stock, so I figured, hey, couldn't find any in Walmart or EB Games, known as the Canadian version of GameStop. So I was thinking, hey, why don't we go in there and take a look? So I got the Wii U Deluxe that came with Nintendo Land, as well as New Super Mario Bros. U. That's part of an extra bundle. Costs a little extra because you get in the second game. But yeah, I'm really glad that I got it, but I will not be opening it or setting it up until Christmas, because that's my Christmas gift. Why are you even here? We don't need your help. The Serena may listen to you, but I will not. Yeah, but the Serena makes the rules right here, not you, so huh? So yeah, that's my story on the Wii U. Don't worry, I'll get most of you guys added, whoever I want to add, of course, once I get it set up. I am Weed Moo. Why you speak to me? You not speak to me. You speak to Zarina. Big dark man no speak to me. Mage's like, huh? I am Lucy von Scython, Zarina of Zenith Kiss. Who are you, and why are you here? I am Magus Lee, Emperor of the Kisereth Empire. I present my wife and ambassador of Kisereth, Zeria Lee. An honor to meet you. Isis Lee. Sovereign of the city-state of Ilian, and my daughter-in-law. Serena, it is an honor to finally meet you. Lastly, I present to you Sapphire Darkwell, Imperatrix of Cenefaria. Milady, the name Magus Lee carries a lot of weight with me. We know of your past deeds, Dark Lord, and you and yours are welcome here. Tell me, why are you here? We seek to get into Valdres without alerting their patrols and scouts. To do that, though, we need to use the Inferni Diadem. However, while we possess the diadem, we are not able to use it properly. Do you possess this information, Zarina? Ah, the Inferni diadem. So you want to mask your energy signatures and your appearance so that you can get into Valdris. Simple enough. You have to head north of here until you come to the mouth of a cave. Enter it and follow the trail. It will take you to the Zenithi Temple Ruins. That is where you must place the diadem on the altar and read the inscription. It will activate the Diadem's power, and you will be able to enter Valdris. Just a small question for you. How dangerous is this trek? Let me put it to you this way, Lady Zyria. No one has ever gone into that cave to go to the underground temple has ever come back out. Peachy! Just peachy! Aw, Zyria, it will not be that bad. I mean, we get to take in the great scenery while we trek into the most merciless depths. Great! Scenery! What great scenery? There's lava everywhere, hellish fireballs, volcanoes, and you're talking about great scenery? Be a great place for a picnic! Our gratitude is given to you, Zarina. I shall hope to see you again, Zarina. Until then... Until that time. Farewell for now, Dark Lord and his cohorts. Alright, so now we know our destination is actually to the north of here. But I would like to get some training done before I even think about going to that cave and then to the temple ruins. Because apparently this little run is going to be two dungeons instead of just one. Oh yeah, I will be taking what I need. Sea potion, thousand coins, defense file, elixir, and blizzard scroll. Not exactly the best treasure trove, so the defense file could come in handy. I'll use two on mages. Might use the other one on him later, but right now it's not needed. So, what I'm going to do is stop the video here, but before I do, let's have one battle. Just to get a taste of what battle, or what enemies we could expect here. 
Okay, hey sexy lady, what we got here? Thuxanas. Okay, they shouldn't be too tough if you got, like, ice attacks, and, well, you should. If you don't, then, well, there's something wrong. Or there's something really, really right for the fact you got here without using ice attacks at all. But the experience is really good. Like, over a thousand for those three enemies. Let me get a mid-potion. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next episode, I'll be properly trained so we can head north. Goodbye.